Hi everyone, in this video we're going to be talking about how we can relate emails to records in Salesforce and specifically what enhanced emails means. Now the original way that we could relate emails to Salesforce was to use email to Salesforce and this would automatically relate emails to any Salesforce records like contacts, leads or opportunities by adding in a special email to Salesforce address in the BCC field or any other recipient field really when you're composing an email in your own email provider. So when I'm typing up an email in Gmail and I wanted to send it to Salesforce, I'd have to remember to put in that other email address into the BCC field and then that would automatically send that email, not just to whoever I was sending it to, but also to Salesforce where it would try and attach it to the right record based on the email of the person that I'm sending it to. Now, if I wanted to really make sure that that email went to a specific Salesforce record, then I would include the record ID in the subject line or the body of the email. Now, if we're being honest, <laughs> this method wasn't the greatest, right? I have to remember to include that email when I send every email that I want to tag or that I want to record in Salesforce. I might even have to include the record ID of a record that I want to attach it to in the subject line or the body of the email, which just might not make sense for a lot of cases, especially if I'm sending this to an actual client or customer. So to build on top of that, Salesforce released kind of the next version of email relations, which was enhanced emails. Enhanced emails allows reps to associate emails to relevant records within Salesforce as an email message object and not as tasks. Now, you might have seen the email button on the activity timeline in Salesforce. That's where we can actually send emails from once enhanced email is enabled. So what I'm saying here is that you can actually send your emails using enhanced emails from within Salesforce. You don't have to be sending them from outside of Salesforce. You can do just the same from within Salesforce. If enhanced email is not enabled, then emails would be assigned as tasks in Salesforce. You can also send emails through the activity tab or using a custom send email action, which is just a button, which you can add to the page layouts. Each licensed Salesforce org can send single emails to a maximum of 5,000 external email addresses every day. And finally, enhanced email is automatically enabled for most organizations except those that use email to case. So I hope that was a bit of an overview, not just of enhanced emails, but a bit of the history of how Salesforce has handled relating emails to Salesforce records. So we started with emails to Salesforce, and then we went to enhanced emails, which was a step up from that. And then the step up from enhanced emails is actually Einstein Activity Catcher, which we'll be talking about later on. I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you guys in the next video.